this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica the greatest desire of mankind is to predict the future but as quoted by dave waters predicting the future isn't magic it's artificial intelligence hello and welcome to voice of biotechnica a weekly podcast for all life science students I'm Sunita from Biotechnica team and today's topic of discussion is recent advancement in healthcare with the use of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence in short AI is the buzzword of the millennium. Whenever we think of it first what comes in our mind is super robots or humanoids. looking and even behaving like human this popular sci-fi culture as reflected by the fictional characters seen in movies like star wars the matrix i robot terminator series etc has aided in developing such concepts but what we fail to realize is that we might be already using the ai in our daily life So first of all let us try to understand AI. The term artificial intelligence was coined in 1956 by John McCarthy, the father of artificial intelligence. According to him, AI is the combination of science and engineering to make intelligent devices for human welfare. In a research paper Artificial intelligence a modern approach the authors Peter Norvik and Stuart Russell proposed that AI comprises of reasoning learning perception linguistic approach and problem solving in a sense with the help of AI it is possible for machines to learn from experience adjust to new inputs and perform human like tasks So that was how we might define it. But how about its development? It all started with development of computer in 1940s which revolutionized the way human viewed machines. Initial AI research in the 1950s explored topics like problem solving and symbolic methods. Further, more serious work started with training computers to mimic basic human reasoning. The progress has been in linear manner from neural network to machine learning to present day deep learning. Presently, some of the most interesting features of AI is high accuracy and automation of repetitive learning. For example, The more you interact with Google search or Alexa, they become more accurate. Moreover, they can adapt to progressive learning algorithms like it can teach itself to play chess or even predict which product to recommend for users next for services like Netflix or Amazon. Usually, it adds intelligence to existing products and never sold as such. For example, Siri, which was an added feature of new range of Apple products. Because of these promising features, AI is progressing fast and has the potential to change the world and the way of life. Now let me give you an example for more advanced form of AI apart from those which we have already discussed. IBM has developed a supercomputer named Watson that combines AI and sophisticated analytical software for optimal performance as a question answering machine. Do you know what was done to check its efficiency? Well, in 2011, the Watson competed on a quiz show Jeopardy against legendary champions Brad Rutter and Ken Jennings. Not only it performed at par to human competitors, eventually it won the first prize of $1 million. 
Now that's really a record breaking feat. But more than that, what is important is the commercial implementation of WhatsApp. Into 2013, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center began using this system to recommend treatment options for lung cancer patients. The main idea was to ensure right treatment while reducing cost. Since that time, other healthcare providers such as Cleveland Clinic, Main Center for Cancer Medicine and WestMed Medical Group have also implemented Watson tools. Likewise, AI can be utilized in diversified fields like entertainment, education, commerce, transport and utilities. It is basically grouped into five categories of reasoning, knowledge, planning, communication and perception. In this fast-changing world of progressive AI, application in healthcare is of great importance going beyond the usual administrative work. Development in this field ranges from powerful diagnostic algorithms to finely tuned surgical robots. It is all about the expansion, sharpening and easing the minds of physicians so that physicians can in turn provide better care to the patients by cutting down error. AI augments the expertise of trained clinicians, helps in better monitoring and management of patients, and has the potential to reduce the cost of treatment by half. Frost & Sullivan, a consulting firm, reported a likely compound annual growth rate of 40% in healthcare AI market by 2021. Even an analysis by Accenture predicts an annual savings of $150 billion in US healthcare economy by 2026 because of AI. Multiple domains of healthcare where AI can be implemented is early detection, diagnosis, decision making, treatment, keeping well, end of life care, training, and research. One of such fields of application of AI will be data management. It is very important to store, compile, and analyze patient information such as medical record, past history, treatment provided, etc. Electronic Health Records EHR, has revolutionized the digitization of data management, but some drawbacks like endless documentation, cognitive overload and user burnout were persisting. Application of AI can automate the routine procedure of documentation, order entry and sorting and make the interface more intuitive. Data collection might be done through voice recording which requires voice recognition and natural language processing. Even in future, video recording can also be used as a source of data. AI can collect store in cloud and even retrieve data in a much faster and efficient manner. It will help doctors to get information about specific patient from anywhere and plan for effective treatment without worrying about drug overdose or allergies. Further, this can be utilized to send notifications regarding due lab test or medicine refill along with prioritizing the patients according to their requirements. Another significant application of AI can be in the diagnostics. Analyzing tests, x-rays, city scans, data entry and other mundane tasks can all be done faster and more accurately by robots. Researchers at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford, England developed an AI diagnostic system that's more accurate than doctors at diagnosing heart disease. In a similar study, a new computer-aided endoscopic system was developed by Showa University in Yokohama, Japan that can reveal signs of potentially cancerous growth in the colon with 94% sensitivity and 86% accuracy. 
AI's ability can be far better than human beings. Scientists at Baidu Research developed a deep learning algorithm and their early tests indicate that it can outperform humans in identifying breast cancer metastasis. Likewise, IBM's Watson was found to outperform human experts in a challenge. Watson analyzed genomic data from both tumor cells and healthy cells and was ultimately able to advise actionable insights within 10 minutes. In comparison, human experts took 160 hours to analyze the same data. Mainly, AI will be useful for helping clinicians in analyzing huge amounts of data that would be overwhelming to humans. This feature makes it appropriate tool to develop individually customized treatment path or precision medicine. One of the latest initiatives towards this goal is Human Diagnostic Project, also known as Human DX. It is mainly combining machine learning with doctors' real-life experience by taking input from 7,500 doctors and 500 medical institutions in more than 80 countries. Human DX can be accessible for everyone and it will enable more accurate and affordable care for all. It is also possible to have digital consultation through AI. Babylon is a medical consultation app in UK which uses AI. Users report their symptoms into the app and it then offers a recommended action. Further, AI can also provide virtual nursing assistance. It can provide continuous monitoring of patients' condition, provide quick answers and follow-up with treatments between doctor visits. Virtual nurses can assist in more regular communication between patient and care providers, between office visits to prevent hospital readmissions or unnecessary hospital visits. Examples of virtual nurse assistant are Senseless Molly and Care Angels Agent. These programs use machine learning to support patients specializing in chronic illness. Medication management is another target area of AI. AI Cure app created by NIH can monitor the use of medication by a patient. A smartphone's webcam is partnered with AI to autonomously confirm that patients are taking their prescriptions and helps them manage their condition. Patients with serious medical conditions, patients who tend to go against doctor's advice, and participants in clinical trials can use this app. Latest trend is robot-assisted surgery which is considered minimally invasive. One of the surgical robots like Da Vinci functions as an extension of the human surgeon who controls the device from a nearby console. It allows doctors to perform complex procedures with greater control than conventional approaches. In addition to it, integration of artificial intelligence can lead robots to analyze data from past operations to inform new surgical techniques. Although the performance of robots is well in some specialties, yet the more complex surgeries can be left to human. Now, how about the AI which will help to maintain the fitness of user and give early warnings about health condition such that severity of the disease can be controlled. By using wearable health trackers, proactive medical care and early detection is possible. From smartphones with strep trackers to wearables like those from Apple and Fitbit that can track heartbeat around the clock and send alerts to the user to get more exercise, and can even share this information to doctor.
AI systems can also collect and analyze this data and additionally provide unique perspective into the health of an individual and population. Cognito, a Boston-based AI and behavioral analytic company, has developed an app which can monitor mental health and can track the behavior of patients. The app with AI-powered voice recognition and analysis feature monitors a patient's phone for both active and passive behavior signals. Like, it can track the location that could indicate whether a patient has or hasn't left home for several days. Or, the communication logs can be monitored that indicate if patients have or haven't texted or spoken on phone to anyone for several weeks. The app does not track who a user is calling or what is the conversation all about. So, it is safe and no personal information ever gets stored in it. These reports can be sent to patient's care team who can immediately look for any behavioral or mental health changes and provide necessary care to the patient. Such type of app will revolutionize the healthcare sector by helping in early detection and management of disease with lower cost and increased accuracy. Lastly, AI can be used for the analysis of complete healthcare system. Such an initiative has been taken in Netherlands, where 97% of healthcare invoices are digitally documented. Further, AI is used to scan this data to highlight the mistakes in treatment and any inefficiency in workflow. This complete monitoring helps in better management, rectification and better patient care with minimal hospitalization. The current scenario of AI in healthcare is very promising, but there are some risks also. Like privacy of patients can be jeopardized and differences in reasoning of human and AI. So it will be wise as not to hurry into implementation of AI. Before that, we need to consider all the pros and cons. Because as said by WH Oren, those who will not reason perish in the act. Those who will not act perish for that reason. After all, it's all about the survival of the fittest. That's all for today's podcast. Thank you for listening and hope to come back with more such interesting discussions. Till then, goodbye.